What's going on, people? We have been, or I have been kind of busy and doing other things, videos, but today we are having a quarantine kitchen episode. Believe it or not, it's been a minute. I know, I'm a little out of practice. So, the menu for today is going to be lunch burritos at La Martin. So, gente, hoy a petición popular de los 60 subscribers de este que tengo, vamos a hacer un quarantine kitchen. Eh, vamos a hacer burritos de almuerzo a la Martín, a la yo. So, let's get to it. First thing you're gonna need, black beans, rice, whatever meat you wanna put in it. That'll be chicken, ground beef, fish, doesn't matter, whatever you want. And a salad, whether it is uh, just spinach or you want, I don't know, spring salad, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Whatever you want, you can just stuff it in there and roll it up, put the paper, put it in the refrigerator, freeze it, and then whenever you want it, you throw it in the microwave. But it's healthier because they don't have all those preservatives. And since it's frozen, it'll probably last forever. So the first thing we're gonna do is do the rice because it's one of the first, uh, one of the things that takes the longest besides the chicken, but the chicken to be able to cook it is really noisy or whatever. So I just rather start with this. So we're gonna measure about a cup of rice. You're gonna do a cup of rice, you're gonna put it in the caldero. Then you're gonna put uh, about a tablespoon, maybe a little less, of salt. Eh, just about that much. And then you're gonna do uh, two cups of water. And so you do you about two cups. Wooden spoon, and swirl around. Oh, some people like to use um, corn, masola, and some people like to use uh, olive oil. I use olive oil because it's what I got available. So you do about a spoonful, get everything in their mix, and about medium and a bit. You cover it and forget about it. So for 15, 20 minutes, come back and take a look. Well, 15 minutes, because 20 minutes should be done. So now for the beans, we are gonna do about a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna do uh, one of these. Well, not a whole one, just just a little bit. And then we're gonna do one of these. This one, you can put the whole thing. Then we get this one and we give it a stir. And I would actually put um, tomato sauce and all that stuff in it, but I ain't got none. So, drop the temperature on that one. So then we're gonna just do it like a medium heat and let them cook and get a little bit softer and get some of the flavor in and that stuff. So that is that on that front. So, the rice is cooking, good looking, and uh, yeah. we're gonna that's the fish. We're gonna season it from adobo, and then we're gonna put it on the air fryer. And then we 
power up. We go through the memory. Fishy fish and let it do its thing. So this is the way the rice should look after you're done. You're nice and loose and let's do a little taste test here. Mm -hmm. Can be too soft or too loose. Now I didn't put that much salt in it because all the you don't you want a little bit of taste of everything. So now we we'll said this aside, let it cool. So now you take some of the beans. See how it's kind of thickish. So what you do, since we're not doing uh, doing it with uh, tomato sauce, you want to grab, you know, squish some of the beans against the side, right? And mix it with the water because you want that water because that water had all the flavor and all the stuff. So you see the more I smash a couple of them beans, you don't have to smash many. We're cooking the chicken right now. The fish is already cooked. The salmon that is, or whatever, you know what I mean. And we're just waiting on the chicken. The beans are cooling off, the rice is cooling off, because everything's gotta be somewhat cool to be able to put it in the thing. All right, so now, fish and chicken cooked. We're gonna take the chicken. Chicken's still kinda a little bit hot, but I'm gonna slice it. It's hot. There you go. So now we're gonna do the fish. Actually, the fish we're just gonna do one cut down the middle. So you're gonna do the fish first. So take your fish. Place, place, so then now, take some of this rice. Put it like that. Then we're gonna take some of the cheese if I can get into the bag. Not not exorbitant amount of cheese, it's just enough to like have a mix of flavors. So now we're gonna do The black beans. And a little green shit. Just to say that we ate our vegetables. Be the complicated part, because we gotta wrap. Wrap. Once we got this part settled, we start shoving everything back into the thing. And voila, a masterpiece. This thing is a beast. I mean, if you don't get stuffed at lunch with this, then you got another problem. So, now we take a little paper towel. Because I don't have the other stuff. And hopefully these ones will fit in the...
Okay, I need to get a Sharpie. There you go. And then all you gotta do is just, you know, grab one and take it to work. All right, so there you go. chicken is not too bad. Now with the rice again. It's actually almost making a, a sushi. It. And again, the same process. Actually, at least right on it before we put in a zip like that. So we know it's chicken, and today's the date because I'm kind of I forgot to put the date on the other one. So 624. So that's the end of another episode. Um, I just gotta clean the mess up. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Easy, just throw in the microwave once you get to work, nuke it, eat it, done. No mess, no fuss, no fuss. So, subscribe, share, and like. Peace.